Hey hello friends welcome back to my YouTube channel in this video we are going to learn how we can permanently store our personal information into RFID card and also i will let you know how we can read all that data for our project uh, we all know every rfid card has at least one kb of memory and every rfid card has its own unique id that is uid uh, in our rfid project we often use uid to make our projects and store all the personal information like name or anything in cloud in correspondent to that uid uh, but if we want to make project where we don't want to use any kind of cloud or any app then in that case this concept is very useful you can store all your personal information in the rfid card and use that information whenever we need it and this will make the project completely offline and stand alone uh, to read and write the personal information into rfid card here i am going to use this mfrc 522 rfid card reader and writer module and apart from this here i am using my own design esp32 module with usb type c port and I made this ESP32 with USB Type-C port using the JLC PCB PCB assembly services. This is the schematic of the PCB. And after completing the schematic, I convert it into a PCB. And after checking every traces and components, I finalized the PCB. And for manufacturing, I gave its order to JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price. And ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Let me show you. I just you need to upload the grammar file of your PCB, select the quantity and select the color masking. And after that, click on save to cart to complete your order. And here, if you select the fastest shipping method, you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days, I got my PCB in a very good packaging. As usual, the quality of PCB is very premium and PCB looks pretty professional. And this green color PCB looks very beautiful. And apart from this, JLC PCB also provides PCB assembly services, 3D printing services and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services. So if you have any PCB project, do try out JLC PCB for your next project. All the important links are available in the description. Now make the connections of RFID card module to the ESP32 as per this connection diagram. And make sure to connect the VCC of the RFID card module to the 3.3 volt of the ESP32. Otherwise your RFID card module will get damaged and it will burn out. So make sure to connect it with the 3.3 volt. So this is code for writing our personal information into RFID card and this one is uh, reading personal information from the RFID card. Uh, I will explain both code in detail uh, one by one. So let's first let me explain the writing part of the code. This code that we use to write our personal information into RFID card. But first we need to add these libraries in our Arduino IDE. So for this just copy this and go to sketch and click on this include library then manage libraries and paste here on the search bar and install this rfid underscore mfrc 522 version 2 library by github community uh, select the latest version and install this i have already installed this library so no need to do that again and after installing this library just click on this close button so let me explain this code in detail uh, these are the some important libraries which we include in our code uh, the this first one this is the core library for mfrc 522 rfid reader basically this act as a api and this library that is mfrc 522 driver spi dot uh, this enables the spi communication with the reader and here we enable the ss pin that is chip select pin and this library is used for debugging and printing card info in serial monitor and here we created a spi driver and rfid instances and here we define four variable that is name id blood phone uh, we will use this variable to store our personal information after that we will uh, flash all this personal information into rfid card here uh, we define uh, array which is a byte type array which is a 17 byte but exactly 16 bytes are used so any personal information that you want to flash on your uh, rfid card you have to put here that is like this one uh, asis moria that is my name and id data you can put any id and your blood blood data that is your blood group and your phone number and this must be the exactly 16 byte if it is uh, left some space you can pad with space that is uh, like this after this here i put some spaces so basically uh, after putting the information if there is a space left you can pad with the spaces so exactly 16 bytes are required then let's come to the setup part 
Here we synchronize the serial communication with 115200 bordered with the serial monitor and here if we are checking with any serial data is available from or not if any serial data is available uh, here we synchronize the MFRC 522 RFID card reader writer module and here we are simply printing on the serial monitor that is write mode on tap card to store data and blocks used are uh, fourth block is used for name fifth block is used for id sixth block is used for blood and eighth block is used for phone now come to the loop section here we are checking if there is any new card is present or not and that card is giving data that is we are receiving any serial data from mfrc 522 uh, card module or not if any data is available then here we are printing on the serial monitor that card detected and we are initializing that is start debugging the card info by using this <coughs> line and here a boolean type variable okay uh, that is defined here and here we are calling these four functions uh, let me explain these functions one by one basically uh, we are calling a function that is write block four time first time we are passing uh, two parameter that is block name and name data so this function is here here write block uh, this is a boolean type function so we need to return true or false after executing this function basically this uh, function is used to write the personal information in the card so first we are calling this function this one where we are sending block name and name data and name data we are entering here that is this asis moria so if we put our rfid card on the module then uh, rfid will write this name that is asis moria and on the block number is here on the block 4 in this function that is write block we are basically passing the block number and uh, data uh, name is stored in the block 4 and in the code we are calling this function again that is set key default uh, let me explain what this function is doing here basically this function is authenticating the key uh, for using the blocks and after that we are checking if blocks are authenticate or not if block is not authenticate we will print the serial monitor that authentication field and we can't write on the block and here if the card is properly not placed uh, that is card is not properly placed that means uh, the personal data is not properly inserted in the rfrd card so we print on the serial monitor dash uh, write field for block if these two things are not happen then we are successfully uh, insert that is stored all our personal information in the rfrd card and we print on the serial monitor that we successfully wrote to the block so after successfully writing on the rfrd card we are returning true so here on the loop where we started so this will become true if this okay that is a boolean type variable if this is true that means successfully we wrote on the rfid card then we are printing on the serial monitor dash all fields return successfully if this is false that means here uh, in this function if anything goes wrong then this will return false so in that case we will uh, print here one or more fields fail to write so in this way we are storing uh, name data in block name that is block 4 so in similar way we are doing for the block id blood and phone number we are calling this write block function and sending this block id that is the block number and id data then again we are calling this function in which we are sending block blood and this blood data so here we are sending the block name that we are defined here for name this is 4 for id this block is 5 for blood this uh, uh, block is 6 and for phone this uh, this is 8 we can't use 7 here here i tell the reason because this is hold for the keys the last section of every block is stored for holding the key so we can't use uh, this like 7 11 15 and the 4 so here we are using only 4 5 6 and 8 and the data is here we can put this data here you can give anything and pad with the spaces and just uh, tap rfid card on the rfid module your data will be permanently stored so that's all in this code uh, this last thing here we are giving telling the uh, esp32 to hold the program that we are done that the tag is already uh, written so that's all the explanation of this code now let's upload this code uh, first let uh, this thing is okay asis moria tl2025 uh, blood group b positive and phone number so let store this one of my tags so uh, upload this code here our code is successfully uploaded now open the serial monitor so our code is successfully uploaded now let's tap the rfid card and let's see what happened so i have this rfid card let's tap on it and as you can see 
राइट टू द ब्लॉक फोर फाइव सिक्स एट दैट मीन ऑल फिट्स आर रिटर्न सक्सेसफुली सो दिस कार्ड वॉज फॉर आशीष सो लेट्स मी राइट द नेम ऑन हियर सो लेट्स ट्राई अनदर कार्ड फॉर दिस वी नीड टू चेंज इन द कोड लेट मी गिव दिस नेम टू फॉर दिस टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू गिव नेम पी ए आर ए के परक and pad with zeros so we need to give exactly 16 bytes so i'm padding with uh, spaces and this uh, id will be i'm giving 206 uh, a positive and so now upload this code again now the code is successfully uploaded now open serial monitor and tap another card here again uh, it shows all fields written successfully so this card is for parak let me write the name on it so let's try with another name basically i have these five cards so i am going to add these five card this time i am giving one of my friend name shipra singh and id will be i don't know her blood group so i am giving it b positive and phone number would be 99 and upload this code here code is successfully uploaded now open serial monitor and tap another card here uh, everything is written successfully let me write the name on it so three card done successfully uh, this time i am going to give name one of my another friend abhishek and paired with zeros uh, id will be 7052 blood group i'm giving as same as and phone number 9 upload this code i'm giving here a random phone number you can give your own phone number here code is successfully uploaded now open serial monitor tap the card oh no something wrong happened oh first time uh, failed to write and second time uh, everything written successfully so write the name on it mr abhishek now i have this last card so i am going to give the name here j l c p c b and the id would be paired with space and here we need to also pad with space to make this 16 byte blood group will be b positive and phone number would be i'm changing to something like uh, 34567 now upload this code here code is successfully uploaded now open serial monitor again and tap the rfid card this time i have tag Uh, here as you can see all fields written successfully that means all the personal information written on this successfully so i'm writing name on it jlc so i have written that is we store personal information on this five card this one is ashish parak siprap sek so let me explain the reading part of the code and after that we will see how we can read all the data from this rfid card so let me explain the reading part of the code so this is the reading part of the code this code is same as the writing part the only difference is the function where write part code we write the personal information into rfid card and in this code we read that personal information so this libraries this thing all are same this block name id everything is same uh, one thing you have to remember here do not change this block name because the block name you define here only will be uh, read on the function so do not change this block name this block name should be same as the block that you have stored the first information so here in the loop section uh, we are calling this read block function to read the first we read the name then id then blood group then phone number uh, this function is same as the write block function that we see in our uh, written part of the code this this year we are calling this write block function to write the personal information now in this function we are calling this read block function to read the personal information uh, this code is defined here basically this function 
so here we are reading all the personal information first we authenticate with key authentication field this will print on the serial monitor that authentication field and if anything goes wrong that we are not able to read then in that case we uh, print on the serial monitor that read field from the that particular block and if everything is going good that that means we are successfully read then we are returning true here because this is a boolean type function so we need to return true or false and after getting true here we are printing on our CI monitor everything that is name id blood group and phone so let me upload this code and see uh, what happened here our code is successfully uploaded now open serial monitor and tap the card one by one to see the what data is stored inside the rfid card so let me first tap this card this one is for upset let's see what will happen here as you can see as soon as i tap the card we got the personal information on our serial monitor that is name of sec id tle7052 blood group and phone number let me tap this one this one is for cipra here we tap oh, it is failed to read a block 568 let me tap again uh, this time we got everything that is name id blood group and phone number so basically you need to give little time do not give very fast so wait so wait a little time to read all the data now let me tap this one this one is for parak here you can see name parak singh tle 2026 blood group a positive and phone number this one is mine let me tap on this here i got the personal information that is asis moria id blood group and phone number uh, let me tap this keychain this one is for jlc pcb uh, name jlc pcb id china blood group b positive and phone number is any random thing that i was given and apart from this personal data we will also got a uid of the rfid tag that is unique id this is this 935982fa uh, this is different for all the rfid card or tag so let me tap all the ones again this one is suppressing asis parak and abhishek as you can see everything is working super we have successfully write our personal information into rfid card and also we have successfully read all the personal information from the rfid card so let me do some changes in this project uh, this time i am going to uh, display all the personal information on a OLED display so apart from this serial monitor we can also display all this personal information in OLED display or you can display anywhere you want so let me show the code so this code is for displaying all the personal information on the OLED display so let's make the connection first and then upload the code now click on upload button to upload the code now make the connections of OLED display and RFID card module to the SP32 as per this connection diagram. Here our code is successfully uploaded. Now let's see on our OLED display by tapping RFID card to the RFID module. Uh, now let's tap the RFID card to the RFID module one by one and see how this personal data is displayed on the OLED display. As you can see card detected and printing on the OLED display uid name id blood group and phone number this one is for upsec as you can see upsec so by using this concept that is by storing our personal information into rfid card we can make lots of projects where we don't require any kind of cloud or app we can use this concept there uh, we can make projects like data logging and networking some advanced projects like security and integration systems and also we can use this project uh, like in operations and inventory systems and also we can make fun projects and showcase projects so there's a lots of possibilities with this concept where we can use this concept to make advanced projects 
सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड यू लर्न समथिंग न्यू इफ यू एनी क्वेश्चन और क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट और एनी अदर प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी वाया माई व्हाट्सअप नंबर यू विल गेट माई व्हाट्सअप नंबर ऑन यूर स्क्रीन ऑल्सो माई ई मेल आई डी यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी वाया दिस चैनल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परचेज दिस आर एफ आई डी कार्ड मॉड्यूल एंड दिस आर एफ आई डी कार्ड एंड दिस एस पी थर्टी टू यू कैन परचेज फ्रॉम माई वेबसाइट डेट इज टेक्नोलॉब इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डॉट कॉम यू विल गेट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर मोर सच अमेजिंग कंटेंट ऑन आई ओ टी रोबोटिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो वी विल मेट इन द नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड टिल देन बाय बाय है